you did your best scanning an old photo negative and now you want to convert it to color. Let's see how we can do that using Affinity Photo. Actually, it is pretty easy. We can just invert it by using an invert adjustment. Well, almost. As the film was orange tinted, the inverted image will be tinted in blue. Let's have a look at the RGB parade in the scope panel. If the scope panel is not enabled in your setup, you can enable it from the window menu. In the parade, we see a star case of the channels. To get the original color back, we need to extend the channels to cover the whole available space. The easiest way of doing that is by applying a curves adjustment. In the curves adjustment, we are going to adjust the curve for each channel. Let's start with the red. Notice how the histogram stops halfway. We need to make sure that this will be the end of our curve. We can directly see the result in our RGB parade. The red is now using the whole area. Let's do the same for the green. In the green, we need to make sure our curve starts where the histogram starts and ends with the end of the histogram. Finally, let's do the same for the blue channel. The color of the image is still not perfect and I can see that in the RGB parade. Let me fine tune the channels so that all the channels are the same height in the parade. Okay, that looks about perfect. Let's check the RGB waveform. Notice this area here. I believe this should be white. So let's fine tune the channels a tiny bit to get a perfect match here. Excellent. We successfully converted the film negative. Depending on how good your scan was, you probably will need to do some more adjustments. My favorite adjustment is the selective color adjustment. And by just fine tuning the neutrals, you can get pretty nice results. By the way, we can combine the invert and the curves adjustment into one adjustment. Let me remove the two adjustments and add a new curves adjustment. We're going to invert the curve per channel and adjust the position of the curve to match the histogram simultaneously as I am doing right now. Let me quickly add a selective color adjustment and have a look at that. Pretty awesome. If you have multiple negatives from the same film and you scan them the same way, you can easily copy and paste these two adjustments to the other documents. Let me select and copy the adjustments and switch to the next document. When I paste the adjustments, we get a perfect image. Let's try it again on the next document. Beautiful. If you're interested how we can achieve the same without any adjustments, keep watching. I'll switch back to the starting image and remove the adjustments. Let me add a fill layer and make sure the color is white. If I now change the blend mode of the fill layer to difference, notice what happens. The image is inverted. The difference blend mode inverted the image based on white, meaning everything white will become black. This is important to remember. Let's go back to our negative by hiding the fill layer and pick the brightest color in the image for the fill. This means now that we will invert using that color instead of white. Let's enable the fill and voila, we got our image colors without the blue color cast we had earlier. It's a bit dark, but as we can see in the RGB parade and the histogram, we're only using half of the available space. To fix the brightness, we can use a curves adjustment and move the ending curve to the middle. We can even fix the colors by going to the channels and fixing the curve per channel. But as I mentioned, I was not going to use any adjustment. Let me remove the curves adjustment and add a fill layer instead. When I set the color to 50% gray and change the blend mode to color dodge, we get the same effect as the curves adjustment. Didn't expect that, did you? We still don't have the correct colors. If we look at the RGB parade, notice how the blue is lacking power. To fix that, I'm going to make sure the hue is set to blue and then slowly move the color, 
from the mid-gray towards the blue, so that more blue is added to the image. It takes a bit of effort and experience to find the perfect value, but have a look at that. No adjustments and a perfect result. Optionally, we can still add the selective color adjustment to color it to our liking. I have never seen anyone doing this and I think I'm the first ever using this technique which makes this super duper awesome. But to be honest, the curve method is a more consistent method and it works all the time. This method with the two fill layers is more prone for incorrect conversion. Once you have the perfect two fill layers, you can use them on the same negatives just like with the curves. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Thanks again for tuning in and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Until the next video.